Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial, the introduction to simple harmonic motion. So this is the periodic motion of a particle whose acceleration is directed towards a fixed point and its magnitude is directly proportional to the displacement from the fixed point. So consider a particle moving along a straight line with acceleration A of the particle always proportional to the displacement x from the fixed point O on the line and always directed towards the point as shown below. So in this case, if this is the particle supermanic motion, when this particle performs supermanic motion, it means that it can move to and flow. That's what they mean by periodic. So it can move from A through O to B and back through O to A. So such kind of motion which is to and flow is known as simple harmonic motion. So remember acceleration is directed towards a fixed point. So in this case O will be our fixed point. It can also be called the mean position or equilibrium position or rest position. In other words, what does that mean? It means that if the particle is here and going towards O, acceleration will be in this direction, like that. But when it reaches this mean position and goes this side, the acceleration will change and will be directed towards the fixed point. So acceleration is always towards the fixed point. In other words, the particle will be going in this direction, but acceleration will be pointing in the opposite direction. When it reaches here and it turns backwards, as it goes this side, this side, acceleration will now be still towards this O until the particle reaches this point. And when it reaches this point, beyond this point, the acceleration will change and now point in this direction while the particle is going in this direction. So that's what they mean by acceleration always being directed towards the main point or the main position. Now, this, the, this particle cannot go beyond this and cannot go beyond that. What does that mean? It means that OA is our maximum displacement from the mean position. And that maximum displacement is denoted by R, where R is given a term amplitude. So the maximum displacement of this particle is known as the amplitude. When the particle is at this point, is at this point, the displacement, remember, it has to be always measured from the mean position. So, if it has moved from A to P, still the displacement will be X. Similarly, if it has moved from O to P, the displacement will still be X. Why? Because displacement is always measured from the mean position. So, let's go through these bullets one by one. What the first one says, at the end points A and B, the velocity of the particle is zero. In other words, VA and VB are all equal to zero and acceleration is maximum. So when the particle as it moves, when it reaches this point B, it will ha be having ma zero velocity but maximum acceleration. Similarly, when it goes back and reaches this point A, it will be having zero velocity but maximum acceleration. At the second bullet says, at the mean position O, the acceleration of the particle is zero, i.e. A equal to zero, and the velocity of the particle is maximum. So when this body come, moves and reaches this mean position, at this point, it will be having maximum velocity and zero acceleration. The next bullet says that the displacement AO equals that of OB and is called the amplitude of motion. I think we have already seen that. Next bullet. The particle completes one cycle in traveling from A to B and back to A. This implies that one cycle has four amplitudes. AO, OB, BO and AO. So this is what they mean. If the particle starts from A, it will go and 
pass through O, then from O it will continue to B. Now from B it will now go back to O, then from O it will go to A. In that case it has completed one cycle. And the time taken to move from this point through to this point and then back to A is known as the period of motion. And the, on the other hand, the time taken to move from here, from A to O, is known as the time taken to cover one amplitude. So remember, from here, from A to O is one amplitude, from O to B is another one amplitude, from B to O is another one amplitude, and from O to A is another one amplitude. What does that mean? It implies that one period is equal to four times the time taken to cover one amplitude. In other words, time taken to cover A to O multiplied by 4 will give you the period. Just as it is in this bullet. So time taken to cover one cycle is known as the period of motion. And since one cycle has 4 amplitudes, it implies that the time taken to cover one amplitude is a quarter of the period. So T O A will be equal to a quarter of T. In other words, capital T will be equal to 4 times T OA. And last but it says that the motion of this type is called simple harmonic motion. Now that we have gone through a brief introduction on simple harmonic motion, let's use that in knowledge to go through the solution to this problem. A particle moving with simple harmonic motion travels from a point X meters from the center O to a point on the opposite side O and X meters from O in 3 seconds. The particle takes a further 2 seconds to reach the extreme point of the motion. Find the period of motion. So this means that the particle starts from a point A which is at a distance X from O, the main position, to a, and moves to another point B which is also at a distance x from the main position. And it takes 3 seconds to move from A to B. Then from B to the end point, it takes 2 seconds. So what does that mean? If from here to here is 3 seconds, it means that from here to here is half of the 3, which is 1.5 seconds, 1.5 seconds. And from here to here it is 2. So the time taken to cover one amplitude is 1.5 plus 2, which is 